Welcome back to the DJ Sound Show. This is a special one. It's a special one. We're in Ibiza. Yeah, we're in Ibiza. Uh, you know, and and uh, this is Arthur Baker, who's been running a hotel to the DJ stars of the island. <laughs> We've had quite a few. We have Chocolate Puma today. Jesse Rose just left. Todd Terry. Uh, who else? Ali Love's coming next week. And what about and Junior? Junior Sanchez. He's the uh, the co-host with the most. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hey. funny. Excellent. And uh, you've also just come back from Sonar. Sonar was great. Yeah, that was last week, I think, or two weeks ago, whenever it was. It was great. And uh, yeah, I had a good set and spoke about the 808 movie and played around with the 808 Live, which was good. It worked. It worked Excellent. better than the, their system. Tweaking. Though. Yeah, yeah, we tweaked. <laughs> <laughs> but what are we going to do today? Well, we're going way back, way back into time. Way back into time. Electro, uh, electro Classics. Excellent. Back, be- back before the, it was called electro. Yeah. Back so in the days before hip hop was the known Genesis, as hip hop. Yeah. 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 The, these are the tracks I made in uh, <clears throat> 82, 83, 84. Nothing after Incredible. 84, 85. So we're going to so, have fun today. There yeah. are a lot of this time. Is like a They're obviously lesson. all out of time, which we've been trying <laughs> to put them into time because the Latin Rascals did all the edits. So yeah, they would, like with They would just sort of, yeah, it was like, a little, little messy. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, I'm going to play. The, the expected tracks and a few that no one's ever heard. Excellent. Probably and, uh, rightfully also, so. you've got some parts in there as well. Yeah, there's you? some. I don't know. I'll see if if, if 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 things work out. I may throw some acapellas in or whatever. You know. Nice. Well, I, well, I mean, we're, we're ready. We're ready. Well, yeah, we should just do this. Without further ado, as they say, right? Don't they say that? <laughs> yeah, they say that in the UK. <laughs> they do it somewhere, um, don't they? <laughs> Okay. It, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Arthur Baker with a special electro set here on the DJ Sound Show. What we're going to do right here is go back, way back, back into time.
matter how hard you try, you can't stop us now. No matter how hard you try, you can't stop us now. Renegades of this atomic age. This atomic age for renegades. Renegades of this atomic age. This atomic age is for renegades. In the days of ancient Greece On down to the Middle Ages When the earth kept on the changes Then the sun The sun came Suns continue to change Continue to change the same But there were always renegades Like she said it Whoa Tom Hey Malcolm Martin Luther King Malcolm X They were renegades Yes, the renegades Of that time and age Mighty renegades I hate clap Blitz, 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 blitz
is over the history lesson has ended <laughs> Arthur Baker I do it again come on one more time step up to the mic yeah <clears throat> it's it's nice to play your old records and and uh, and know what what happens in each record yeah it's sort of they were made to be mixed together and a lot of the records were already mixed together like Breakers yeah. Revenge and uh, 
put the needle to the record. So they were basically medley sample mashups before the term was made, you know, so. Over 30 years ago. Yeah, fucking hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Over 30, every single one of those records was done before. You don't, you don't before. look old enough. Yeah, I know that. That's strange, isn't it? But every, so. every, every record was done except for Put the Needle to the Record, which was done in like 80, 87. But every, all the others were done before 80, 85 and before. So pretty crazy. What a legacy. You could call, you could call like, it that, yeah. <laughs> there were so many great tracks. Yeah. Obviously, Planet Rock at the end. Uh, Perfect Beat was in there. See, New play Order it, was Play at your own risk. The last track, that's my favorite of all of them because it's yeah. a great song, good, great production. And, uh, there was, you know, because we, we took the template from Planet Rock and I think even bettered it sound wise and everything. Yeah. It was the same. It was actually the same multi track tape, the, all the same. Everything was the same yeah. except with the same a vocal palette, on top. It was the same, same thing. So, yeah. And that a lot of memories when you're playing those tracks back? Um, yeah, some, absolutely. Flashing back to actually being in the studio on some of it and, you know, remembering, you know, I pretty, you know, it was, it was all pre, uh, pre-substance abuse, most of those tracks, <laughs> not all of them, but, you know, and, and basically remembering, you know, how it felt in the studio and all yeah. that, which, you know, was a different time than, because nowadays you usually, m- most people make records on their own, you know, dance records in yeah. particular. And then it was a real sort of, we'd go in with the it rappers was and it was thing, much it more was communal. Yeah. wasn't it, as well? Well, it was a commitment because you'd have to go in a studio and spend money. And so yeah. someone had to be paying money. Yeah. And in and, and, and most of the cases, with all the Soul Sonic, it was Tom Silverman. Some of the others were, were things on my label, like um, um, Funky Soul Makosa and, yeah. and, Perf- and, uh, and uh, Put the Needle to the Record some of the others too so yeah but it, it definitely uh yeah you definitely it's it was a different time and we could actually sell yeah 12 inch vinyl all those records pr- pretty much every single one of those sold over a hundred thousand and most of them sold over th- 250 i mean most of the records were selling they were selling real records then you know real numbers wow but you're not messing about now. But I mean, I'm doing my, I'm doing yeah, new shit. You know, yeah, come mean, on, you, you can't. Know, I'm not sleeping on the old. You know, exactly. I mean, you know, you know I mean, I'm, it was difficult enough to kind of get you in here to do this because I know that we've baked your label. Yeah, uh, collaborating with uh, Kaz James, the Martinez brothers. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be doing a, a set together at the uh, at um, at Seth's um, Tobacco Dock thing on 808 August 8th. So we're going to be doing that together. That's in London town. That's in London. Um, Working with Ali Love, we're doing a gig at Razmataz in August in uh, in Barcelona. So really, you know, really trying to get back into using the 808 yeah. live and doing a lot of stuff. I played at Beach House last week. Do you weekend. have a couple of them? No, no, I, I, I've had a couple fun? of them, but they've gone, you know, the, the first one I had wasn't the one we used on Planet Rock because that was like a rented one. But um, the second one I had, I lent to Rick Rubin and he <laughs> supposedly left it in a cab. Right. And so he got, I got another one and then I lent it to Seven Fisher and he had it locked up in a storage place and he couldn't get that one right. back. <laughs> so basically I've had, I've had two and now I have a third, which I will not be lending out yeah. to anyone, you know. It's your hand luck when you travel it is my hand luggage now I take it on on the plane with me but um, it's fun it, it's fun using it and attempting to do something different with, yeah. with, with the old gear and uh, you know and then you know then I've got like the slam dunk record which yeah. is my other project which is sort of uh, this record No Price which is a disco r- record disco cut up and working with Todd and Junior and a bunch of other people who are yeah. staying at the you're house. Ha- you're so. roomies. You're hung- we're all roomies, mates. man. Yeah, we're going to try to finish a record in a month, you know? <laughs> we, we've started 20, and I don't or, know. All your other halves will say, so how is it beef? Yeah, no, we know, were yeah, working. Right, exactly. Absolutely working, yeah, exactly. you know? Listen, if you come in the house, you know, we've got the Pioneer set up in the room, and then we've got all the gear around it, and then everyone has the, <clears throat> has their computers and we're all working on tracks oh, trying right. not to rip off each other's tracks yeah, yeah. to, to be a fly on the yeah. wall there yeah well Arthur all it's right. been fantastic well I'm glad we got a chance to do yeah, it and I did. made it through an hour without too many mistakes yeah, and it yeah. was great yeah. really great because those record, you know the, hearing all those records together as a body of work yeah it's just fantastic thank so, you thanks thank you very much thanks for having me take care man A massive thank you to Arthur Baker for coming on the DJ Sound Show with a very historic electro set. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.